The following program is sponsored by Friends of Life Outreach International. Dr. Don Colbert's Health Zone Essentials can help all aspects of your wellness. And so we look at the whole person spiritually, yeah. we look at them emotionally, we look at them hormonally, we look at them structurally, nutritionally, dietarily, everything on every angle. And when I put all of these together, it's like layers on top of layers. Most important is spiritually. Yeah. We treat them spiritually. We activate their faith. Yes. And when we activate their faith, all things are possible to him who believes. Welcome to Life Today. I'm Randy Robinson. Tammy is with me, and hey. you know, Dr. Colbert is back with us. Uh, and I, we covered a lot of material in these last couple of programs, and yeah. my parents have covered some great material. Again, all those are at lifetoday.org. So if you miss a program, don't miss a program. Yeah. I still have some questions. Do you have any questions? I will have questions every day of my life, especially <laughs> right. about my hormones, uh, you know, any weight gain, hair loss, yeah. nail, my hands are freezing. There's like just so <laughs> much stuff. And I, I, you know, there's a lot of things. Diet is a big thing to me because sometimes yeah. I wonder, okay, am I, I'm buying this, paying a little more for this, whatever. Is it really worth the money? And, you know, sometimes yeah. I, I think this may do some good and you, right. you're going to tell me, no, you need to stay off of that. Uh, and and there's some interesting things in, in this, this video that we produced, which is available DVD and online, actually. Um, stretching, you know, a lot of people deal with back pain. There's a, just, there's a lot, of, lot of places we can go, but I, I want to hit some of the, I think, more popular questions sure. that, mm -hmm. that people are going to have. Right. A big one is, and Tammy was just asking you about this in between the programs we're doing here. Sometimes uh, I think I'm treating something whether it's with, with a drug or by changing my diet or whatever uh, supplement a lot of times, and I'm not necessarily treating it in the right way. Is there a, a good way, a right way, and a wrong way to treat these things, and how do we know the difference? Well, again, very good question. And again, that's why it depends on what symptom people are having. Like, for example, a lot of men, when they're tired, they wonder, you know, am I working too much? What's going on? If a man's over 50 and is real tired, it's many times low T or low adrenal function or sleep apnea mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, frequent urination at night. So again, you simply look at it through the lens of let's check the hormone system, let's check the gut, let's check what you're eating. A lot of times what you're eating is causing a problem. Like mm -hmm. when people have pain in their fingers, it's usually a nightshade they're eating, tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, eggplant, paprika, or too much coffee, drinking too much coffee, or cheese and dairy. It affects you, as, as well as potato chips and fried foods. They mm -hmm. affect your joints. If it's knee pain, see a ton of knee pain. It's many times the dairy. It's their dairy lovers, their ice cream lovers, their cheese lovers. They have to have that big bowl of ice cream at night. Mm -hmm. So whatever problem, I look at number one, is it something you're eating? Is it a food that you're having a toxic food reaction, a lectin reaction, or is it a belly fat issue? Is it a gut issue? Is it a hormonal issue? Is it an emotional issue? What is it? I have to look through all these different lenses, and I don't look at like, when you have a problem, you need a medication. I rarely prescribe medicines. The only meds I prescribe are generally bioidentical hormones. The same hormones that the body used to make, but it's no longer making optimal amounts. So that's how I look. I look at it through a different lens. I look, when, when doctors treat patients, they, they carry a script pad. I don't carry a script pad. Mm. I rarely write scripts. I look for the root cause. Yes. And when I balance the body and I give the body the food it needs, give it what the gut needs, optimize the hormones, protect the brain, I cover most bases. When I put them on that healthy uh, Mediterranean keto diet, I bring their weight down to normal and guess what? most of their problems will go away. Their, most of their back pain will go away. So many people that are obese, they carry that big belly out there and they have back pain. And they say, why do I have all this back pain? I say, because you got that big belly. <laughs> For every pound of weight on your belly, you have at least 10 pounds of stress on your back. You're, mm. you're making your back, you're throwing your natural curves off in your back. Mm. See, God created a scaffolding system in the back with three unique curves that we have to maintain. 
when you have that weight, it is pulling your body forward, and it's also making your, causing a sway back, and it's creating tremendous pressure in your back, and it's mm. starting to wear out your disc and your facets, leading to arthritis, and also eventually causes bulging discs, spinal stenosis, all kind of problems. And also, so many men are carrying their wallets in their back pocket. Yeah. Do you Guilty. know wallets? Wallets yeah. <laughs> right. are the worst thing for chronic back pain, mm. for sacroiliac dysfunction, for piriformis syndrome. We call it fat wallet syndrome. Mm. I tell every man, get the wallet, get the phone, get the handkerchief out of your back pocket, or you're gonna have back or hip problems. Wow. It's just simple things, and people are going, I see so many people come to me, they say, I've had this horrible back pain in my hip or in my lower back massai joint. And I look at them, I say, well, has anyone mentioned to take your fat wallet out? And they said, no. And then all the, I teach them some core exercise. I usually have to unwind or percuss, teach them some stretching exercises. I'm not a chiropractor, I'm a medical doctor, mm -hmm. but structure is important. And then I get them to align their spine naturally like the door frame stretch. I talk about it on our stretching video. And their back pain goes away. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. They literally get off the table and they say, that's amazing. I've been to all these doctors and no one's able to fix me. All these, even chiropractors. Mm -hmm. I said, it's so easy because once you do the simple things, the obvious things, just get the wallet out of the back pocket, get the phone yeah. out of the back pocket, and then just align your SI joints and your body heels. And then do a plank, maybe four days a week for a minute or two. Do a plank. And that's it, do a plank. Planks for, are great. For fortunately stability. for me, my wallet's been thin enough my mo most of my life <laughs> yeah. that it hasn't caused any issues. So, but I'll tell, I'll tell you what I, I did have, and, and it'll be interesting uh -huh. to hear you speak to this because uh -huh. you don't know this is coming, but I, I was told that I needed surgery on my wrists right? Uh, for carpal tunnel. Oh, yeah. Uh, because, yeah. you know, sure. so much of this. Sure. So much of my life. Right. Um, but then I talked to somebody, it wasn't you, uh -huh. who showed me some stretches. Stretches, yes, right? absolutely, sure. Uh, because of door twisting, you know. Good. And right. some massaging. Good. These nerves good. right here. Very good. And I, it's have gone. A, I don't have to have surgery. Awesome. Now, I do deal with pain some. Right. Uh, I do drink coffee, so. <laughs> oh, you got some thumb pain. Oh, you're the coffee with the thumb pain. I, I, and there's I so do. many. So you, you have to cut it down to one cup a day, Randy, and that'll usually. Oh, that's go what away. I do. I just okay, I'm good. a one cup. That's a day, right. A one so. cupper. But, but I still. But the but stretching. Stretching's great. It's it's amazing. Stretching. We all need to stretch. I'm a bad stretcher. We get stretcher. stiff. We get stiff, but that's okay. I'm we can bad. get you loosened up, girl. We can loosen you up. So many. You know, I've often. I know what stretching is important, but sometimes it hurts more when. I stretch, so then I, well, girl, I don't want to stretch. Drink some water before you stretch. You've got to warm up. You're, you're cold blooded. I touch I your hand, am. it's like I an know. icicle. I know. We've got to get you on some natural thyroid, warm you up, and, yes. and, and then get you some water, get you hydrated. You'll be able to stretch like a rubber band. You're right. And, and speaking, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of uh, natural. Uh, thyroid, I'm unsynthetic now. Oh. And, and so is that when Randy was talking mm -hmm. about good right. or bad, it's like I, I was reading in your book, that right. whole section on thyroid. Oh, yeah. I learned so much and I was thinking, I'm seeing a doctor in two months good. that I'm going to get on bioidentical hormones and Excellent. balance out my body. And I know he's going to say, good. get off of that synthetic. Yes. But I learned so much in your book going, I didn't realize that there was an alternative yes. to, because all I was given sure. was this one drug and thought, well, this is going to help me every day. Well, please, when you see him, ask him to check not only your TSH, but also your free T3. That's free the most T3. important. Okay. And you want to get that free T3 optimized okay. around, usually around 3.5 to 4. Okay. You have to check. When you get up in the morning, take your thyroid first thing in the morning. Wait an hour before you eat or drink coffee, just water. It doesn't play well with other supplements. So take it by itself. Wait an hour. Then you have your thyroid checked about five hours later. Okay. So if you get up at six, you want to have your thyroid checked around 11, okay? okay. And you want to get that optimized around 3.5 is, is fine. And now, again, it'll probably be in the twos, and, and then that's why you're cold. When I get people around 3.5 or a little higher maybe, then that's when everything turns on. Wow. Now, you could also do it with lyothyronine, which is T3. And there's a synthetic T3, and endocrinologists will use this. And people that are under the care of an endocrinologist, I don't like to step on their toes. So I'll keep them on their Synthroid or level thyrox, and I'll just add a little T3, uh, such as 5 micrograms in the morning, sometimes 10. I'll go 5 micrograms, 7.5, 10, or sometimes at noon. And it gives them tremendous energy. It warms them up. And so you can do either way. Wow. There's a few ways to do it. Okay. There's hope. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's, I'm curious about one thing. You mentioned that you're a, a medical doctor. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. How did you get to the point where you're you're kind of dealing a little bit in some areas that 
a lot of medical doctors aren't. How did you get to the position where you're at? Because as Tammy alluded to in another program, I hear testimonials of people going, I, I've been to all these doctors and nothing worked. And then they saw you and you started dealing with some other things. Right. Mm. Randy, when healthy. I treat someone, I look at the whole person. Most doctors are specialists. They'll look at your heart or they'll look at your emotions or they'll look at your lungs or your gut. I look at the whole person. I look at their structure. I look and see if they've got their curves that God's given us this amazing scaffolding system. We're fearfully and wonderfully made, according to Psalms 139. Mm -hmm. If we can maintain the scaffolding system, guess what? We can prevent most all back pain. We look at the structure. Like I say, so many people are doing just obvious things, and so many men have chronic back pain and hip pain and SI joint pain because they got that big old fat wallet in there. So just simple things. I look at the whole body. I look at the emotions. I look at the trauma. So many people have depression, anxiety because they have trap trauma. Mm. I go and I find the trap trauma. I remove it within minutes, and I have a special trauma laser that can show me where the trauma is trapped, and I can tell exactly the t age it occurred. I take them through forgiveness therapy. We for, I have to forgive themselves or forgive someone else who's hurt them. Or they t we take them through the trauma with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then they reframe the trauma. And then there's no longer a trauma. And they're set free. And many will cry and weep and mm -hmm. because it's like a deliverance. It's almost like a deliverance. It is a deliverance. And so we look at the whole person spiritually. Yeah. We look at them emotionally. Mm -hmm. We look at them hormonally. We look at them structurally, nutritionally, dietarily, everything on every angle. And when I put all of these together, it's like layers on top of layers, most important is spiritually. Yeah. We treat them spiritually. We activate their faith. Yes. And when we activate their faith, all things are possible to him who believes. Yes. Let, me, let me ask you mm -hmm. this. We, we use the term emotional eating. So oh, yeah. we, we know <laughs> that our emotions, right. when they're kind sure. of messed up, right. can lead to some bad habits. Oh, sure it does. But does it work the other way as well? If, if oh, our sure. bodies are out of whack, will it negatively affect our emotions? Absolutely it will. Uh, just like uh, sugar is a comfort food, ice cream is a comfort food, chocolate and brownies and fudge, donuts, cake, pies are comfort you're foods. They make you hungry. feel good. No, you don't want a donut. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these foods make us feel good. But guess what? When we put in the right foods, when we take in lots of healthy fats like olive oil, I love olive oil. I take in a lot of high polyphenol olive oil. I brought my olive oil with me to put it on my salad today because I put the right fuel in because my body runs better. Sugar, carbs, starches make me tired. Now I use mm. a little bit of carbs, healthy carbs, but if I use a lot of carbs, it's gonna make me sluggish, it's gonna make me tired, it's gonna give me brain fog, so I don't want all that. Yeah. And so I put the right fuel in, and so I don't have problems. If I have problems, I have to look and see what am I doing wrong? Look at, analyze my diet, analyze my structure, analyze my emotions. What am I saying? What am I thinking? What am I feeling? Mm -hmm. so, and how much water am I drinking? The most important thing we can do is drink water. Yeah. And when we have water, guess what? Most joint pains go away. And mm. when we have adequate water, so many water uh, joints and cartilage is about 80% water. So we have to keep our joints lubricated. The synovial fluid is over 90% water. Mm. Is it true that I should be drinking half my weight every day? Well, about not two quarts ideally, not uh, half your weight. In ounces weight. or no. something. Or in, ounce, in <laughs> ounces, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, again, yeah, you can take your weight and divide it by two, and usually you need approximately that much, not always that much, okay? Usually one to two quarts is sufficient for okay. most. Okay, and now you, you mentioned a lot of things that you like to use, right. the olive oils and everything. This, yes. this is all covered oh, it's in, in there. The yes, I use the main oil I use, and with most keto diets, most keto diets use lots of butter. Put your own God's oil. So let's use mm. olive oil, even bump it up a notch and use high polyphenol olive oil, or bump it up a notch and use high oleocanthal olive oil, which mm. is the most powerful antioxidant in the world. Mm. So butter's and, bad. A stick of butter well, a day a little, is bad? No, absolutely, so, girl. <laughs> a stick? Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. A pat? No, a pat or parents, two a day is okay, but a stick? <laughs> my parents saw a doctor that said a stick of Butter a day, so oh. and I thought a stick that of butter just a day, and they'll be awful. seeing the doctor on a regular basis. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, a stick of butter is crazy. <laughs> I know. That, let me explain what happens. Here's what butter does. Butter is high in saturated fat. So is cheese. So is cream. So is whipped cream. Sour cream. So is coconut oil. So is uh, fried food. So is fatty meats. Your uh, burgers. Your hot dogs. Your sausage. Your bacon. Your brisket. Your ribs. Your ribeyes. 
and your pepperonis and salami, and all of those are processed meats. They're full of saturated fat. Also, the saturated fat contains the toxins of the animal. These animals are usually corn fed, soybean fed, GMO corn, GMO soybean. You're getting all that GMO stuff in you. So you're, if you eat meat and fat from a, a, a cow or pig, that's fed corn and soy, you're gonna be getting all those GMOs in you. They oh, also wow. get the pesticides that the animals feed on that's in the, in the corn and the soy. They also get the dioxins and PCBs and toxins that are carcinogens that are stored in their fat. Mm -hmm. So who wants all that stuff? Oh, it's in the goodness. cheese, it's in the butter, it's in the animal fat. It's not coconut oil, but use avocado oil. So many people are saying, I'm using coconut oil. I say, get off the coconut really? oil. Okay. It's high in saturated fat. Use avocado mm. oil. Okay. It has a smoke point of 570 degrees, the highest smoke point of most any other food. Right. And you can, if you want to stir fry or eat, cook with that, that's great to okay. cook with. But not olive oil. Olive oil has a lower really? smoke point. You want to use olive oil. I put olive oil all over my food. I'll put okay. three or four tablespoons on. I'm mm. throwing up my coconut oil when I get, get home. Get rid of it, girl. It's, it's <laughs> Get rid of it. But, you and know, get we, your cholesterol <laughs> checked. <Okay. laughs> no, but so many people, unless we have this kind of information, Dr. Don, that you have put years into for us, we would have no idea. Like we go yes. off of the information friends give us or yeah, families sure, sure. or something worked for you and it doesn't always, you know, work for everybody. A stick of butter is not gonna work for me and I don't do it, but you know, I'm just so grateful for the knowledge that you have and that you've not just in this 30 minutes together with us, but you've put it all in this book. Right. It's all in there and, and I, now years ago I wrote a book called uh, the keto zone diet, which is the keto, and I use some of the butter and some of the saturated fats. My patients, a year later after following that, some were coming in, some, not all of them, but their cholesterol is over 300. I said, wait a sec, before you started this program, it was 180 or so. Mm. I said, it's jacked it up. And they say, well, I'm putting a tablespoon of butter in my coffee, and I'm putting whole cream in there, and I'm eating butter with everything. I said, no. So I had to redo a book and do Beyond Keto. Now, the keto diet short term is okay for weight loss. Mm. Okay. But if you're going to do long term, you're in trouble. Just like now, the new, you know what the new fat is? The caveman diet. Mm. Oh, you go to the gym. Is that just meat? Meat. Yes. And you I've eat. You that. eat a pound of steak uh, once or twice a day. That sounds uh, terrible. That you eat, and then you put a stick of butter in there to cook it in. Oh my and goodness. And these guys are following this, and that's the most unhealthy diet anyone could ever eat. <laughs> wow. You're getting all those toxins in yes. that meat. You're not getting the fiber you right. need to clean the colon out. Mm. You're not getting any veggies. You're not getting any berries that you need for the mm. phytonutrient effects. A, a fat diets just sound like a bad idea. Well, it's it, gotta be a lifestyle change, yes, right? Yes, exactly right. Yeah. And yeah. So you're hearing a lot of these fat. Now, yes, they'll lose weight. Yeah. But again, they're asking for colon cancer. Oh. Yes, And exactly. all of these toxins in their mm. body and brain fog, it's literally, it's going, it's going to come back and it's going to raise their cholesterol off the chart and cause lots yeah. of disease. I just want to live in the health zone, Whew, Yes, no more brain <laughs> no, fog. Do too, I don't right? want any brain <laughs> fog. I want to be balanced. <laughs> I want balance in my life. Mm, yes. Yes. We You're want right you on. to be healthy, too. Mm. So take that first step with any gift today towards Water for Life. We will send you Dr. Colbert's Health Zone Essentials. It will get you started. It'll All the stuff that you don't remember from this program, it, it, it's in here. Uh, and for those of you that will help us with a gift of $75 or more towards Water for Life, you will get the cookbook and stretch your way to a better health. This is possible. Take control of your health yes. and do it today by helping others with their health. Watch this and you'll understand. So this is where you get your water. It's just unbelievable. We just got through walking down this crazy steep hill where I literally just fell coming down. And this mom is coming down here to collect water. And she is about to carry this. This is five gallons of water, eight pounds per gallon, 40 pounds. She's gonna put that on her head while she has a baby on her back and she's gonna walk back up that hill. And this is what this mother's drinking. This is why two of her children have died. Kumunfuza 
Kandi wanga na zorinda fachi ibgamu na yanda eru. Two of her children both passed away from the water that was here that they had to drink. Esperance has another baby on her back called Angeline or Angel. Earlier I was saying how beautiful she was and she said, how can my baby be beautiful when the water that she drinks makes her so sick? And I had to tell her that she was beautiful because God made her and that I see the image of God in her. You know that in the same region right here in this village, over 32 mothers have lost children in the last couple of years. Would you please, please help us bring clean water to this village? We will take what you give and we will make a difference in the lives of villages all over the world through Water for Life. It's so hard to watch. You know, Tammy, I was with John on that trip. Yeah, that's right. I, I walked up and down that hill. It was very steep. And we talked to the, the mothers who had lost children. And it, it's heartbreaking. When you sit there with someone who has lost a child, sometimes more than one, and you're thinking that the answer is so easy. It's just clean drinking water. Why are they not drinking clean water? Because they have none. They don't, they're having to walk miles to get what water they can. And you watch them a lot of times, they'll stir the water to try to get rid of anything on the top. You know, m most of them don't have anything to boil with. If so if, if they could take the time to boil water or, or to filter it, they don't have the know-how necessarily. They're doing the best they can, but it's killing the children. Mm. We can stop it and it's easy. We go in, we drill a water well, we encase it so that it lasts for a long time and it changes the health of the village overnight. And the ones most at risk are those, those children right around Angelina's age. Mm. Well, you know, when they're, when they're coming off the breast milk of their mother and they're starting to drink the water that's available, that's the most vulnerable time. And that's why it's critical that we go in our goal this year is 350 wells in 20 nations. And I, I would love for that to just keep growing year after year. Over the years, we've drilled over 8,000 wells and we have seen the turnaround that takes place. We can only do it with your support. We can only do it when you go online or go to the phone right now and you say, I want to give clean drinking water to someone Someone I don't know, but someone that God loves and that I want to express Christ's love to today. And Tammy, we have a great opportunity because they can yeah. take control of their own health Absolutely. with Dr. Colbert's materials. I know, how incredible. So if you can partner with us today, we want to also sow into your life, into your health, just as we're giving health to somebody else that needs it, that's trying desperately every day to find health. We're gonna bring that to them. We're gonna drill a well in that village and we're gonna bring them health and life through water. And just as we wanna do for you, we're gonna bring that to your life as well. We all are probably out of balance in some way, Randy. Yeah. I feel it in my life every day. And Dr. Don has, has written another incredible book. He's written a cookbook. He's got a stretch DVD and he's got this brand new book, Health Zone Essentials, that I promise you will change an area or many areas in your life today. If you're struggling with your gut, your brain, your hormones, stretching, whatever it is, this, this guy has covered absolutely everything and he is a blessing. We want to pour that into your life. So for your gift of $75 today, we want to send you this bundle of information that I yep. think is going to set you on a path to balance, to order in your life, maybe recovery, just yes. to build a healthier yes. life, Randy. Absolutely. And for any gift, you can request Dr. Colbert's yeah. Health Zone Essentials. And listen, it's not just about us, although we want you to be healthy. It's about the people that desperately need our help. So let's do it. Let's, let's take care of you. Let's take care of them. Call now, go online, make the best gift you can. Every day, thousands of lives are lost to waterborne disease and nearly half of those are children under the age of five. Through Mission Water for Life, you can give mothers hope and children a future as we provide clean, life-giving water for thousands of children and their families before it's too late. With your gift today, you can help drill and establish 350 water wells this year. Your gift of $24 will help provide clean water for five children. 
A gift of $48 will provide for $10, $72 will provide for $15, and $144 will help provide life-giving water for 30 people for a lifetime. With your gift of any amount, we'll send you Dr. Don Colbert's Health Zone Essentials, a roadmap to living a long, healthy, and energized life. With your gift of $75 or more, we'll also send you the Health Zone Bundle, which includes Dr. Colbert's Healthy Gut Zone Cookbook, filled with advice and his favorite recipes to guide you on your healing journey, as well as his special DVD, Stretch Your Way to Better Health. Gain flexibility, mobility, and balance through daily stretching techniques. Finally, please consider a gift of $1,200 to help provide water for 250 people or a gift of $4,800 to help sponsor a complete well and request our new bronze sculpture, A Cup of Water, inspired by Jesus' words in Mark 941. Please call, write, or make your gift online today. Hey, Dr. Don Colbert here. Did you realize that contaminated drinking water is one of the leading causes of death and disease throughout the world? Clean drinking water is absolutely essential to good health. That's why I've joined with Life Today in helping to drill water wells throughout the world. We've been partners for years, and I encourage you to do the same. Give the gift of clean, healthy water. God bless you. Thank you. I hope all of you are going online or going to the phone and making the best gift you can. For those of you who have supported Water for Life and continue to do it, thank you. Thank you so much. And Dr. Colbert, thank you for being a, a longtime supporter of the Outreaches of Life. Praise God. It's a blessing. And I believe in this ministry. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. And uh, the water, clean water, you know, we see the difference it makes. You tell us we got to drink our water. We got to give them yeah. clean water to drink. Exactly so, right. Yeah. That's it, one of the best gifts we can ever give anyone is clean water. Yeah, it really is. So we, we appreciate that. Call, get started, get mm -hmm. your health zone essentials, get the cookbook, get the stretching, and you can have a, a longer, healthier yes. life. Yes. Yes, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go drink some water, <laughs> and I'll see you next time on Life Today. And take some thyroid. <laughs> yeah, and thyroid. See ya. See you next time. <laughs>